You know, it isn't like people aren't used to seeing lights on. They are. They're, they're used to seeing, they were used to seeing the lights on at this beautiful mansion all the time. Gorgeous. I mean, it's in Detroit, multi-million dollar mansion, meticulous grounds. He's a neurosurgeon. He really took pride in that place. And he let the public come in and use it for events and things, charities, etc. But look closely at that picture. Uh, look at the top, the attic light that's on. This is the part that's a bit weird because the neurosurgeon who lived there was murdered two months ago. And his body was dragged face down up to that attic, that very spot where that light is on. They have not found who is responsible for doing this to him, putting two bullets in the back of his head, wrapping him in a plastic sheet and a rug and then trying to stash him up there. The family wanted to put the lights on in, in the home to honor the, the beauty of the home and remind people that we're still looking for a killer here. The light on the, at the attic there, I, it, it was probably their idea, but it is eerie when I look at it and think of what went on behind that window. Here's what I can tell you. The People magazine has said that a neighbor um, said that Dr. Devon Hoover, the murder victim here, had mentioned living alone in the mansion sometimes made him nervous. It's interesting. Um, his sisters, Lila and Lori, have been frustrated with the, the slow progress towards finding who did this. And so they are now putting together a GoFundMe to get a $20,000 reward for information leading to the person who did it, who dragged him to that light up in the attic. It's still so curious, though. How is it possible that they haven't found someone two months later? Joining me now is Matt Clayson. He's a friend of Dr. Hoover, who, alongside Devon's family, is working towards that $20,000 goal. What are the police saying, Matt, about the latest in this effort to find who did this? Not much, really. And, and that's actually OK. I think the police are playing it very smart here, where they're not giving too much for people to try to escape from or to try to spin the story. They're keeping their cards close. And, and I think that's, that's what you want in something like this. And Matt, you and um, his sisters have put together this effort to, to raise money, the GoFundMe. If you raise more than $20,000, because I know that he was beloved. You know, Do Dr. Hoover um, was such a friend of the community. He was so friendly to everybody. His home was beautifully kept. He had an aura about him. My guess is that you may go well past that $20,000 reward. What will happen with the excess funds? So the excess gets split between um, two organizations that were very close to Dr. Hoover's heart, one which is the Michigan Opera Theater, Detroit Opera House. Um, the other is the Fraternity de Notre Dame, which is a um, um, Catholic sisterhood who was actually teaching Devon to learn French. And so he, he, he loved France, he was learning French. I um, would talk about his French lessons together when we'd see each other because so I spoke French for, gosh, eight years and still speak. And it's just something close to him. And they were generous to him, and he would like to be generous back. That's nice. Um, I only have a few seconds left, but the photo of the mansion with the lights on, with the attic light on, what was the meaning behind it? I would assume, and this is just me guessing, it's it's, it's the, the, that his light is, is, is still with us and still present. Mm -hmm. and And, you know, he was... He was very proud of his house, very proud of Detroit, a fierce Detroiter who brought light to everything and everyone he touched. Someone who was not afraid. I don't know where that kind of came from, that, that that line of him being afraid. In the 15 years that I've known him, he's never once talked about being scared of being in the city. Rather, yeah. it's been, how can I bring light to those around me? Matt. Those who are my friends and those who I treat. Thank you for this. I have to wrap it there. Uh Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.